true rescue four thompson fire all true rescue four thompson fire there have been at least six accidents involving beat trucks in the northern valley since friday it sparked a controversy on social media on whether sugar beet truck drivers should be required to have a cdl a commercial driver's license before climbing behind the wheel at this point they don't on Friday, a beat truck driver was injured after tipping her truck on County Road 5 near the Grand Forks Airport. At 2 a.m. Saturday, another beat truck driver came close to being electrocuted after raising his truck box in a field and coming in contact with an overhead power line. Then at 6 a.m. Saturday, another driver tipped his truck near Gilby. I've since learned another truck driver uh, tipped his truck near Stephen, Minnesota on Saturday. Then at 10 a.m. Saturday, a beat truck driver was cited for failing to yield, striking another car at an intersection east of East Grand Forks and injuring a woman. Then on Tuesday morning, one man was killed after driving into the back of a beat truck, stopped on Highway 75 south of Climax, waiting to turn off the highway. The driver of the truck was not listed at fault by the highway patrol. However, I've also received a couple of posts from other drivers who say they've had close calls because of beat trucks pulling out in front of them. And not to pick on beat truck drivers here, since thousands of other trucks will be needed across North Dakota and Minnesota to haul in the bean and corn crop. The state patrols in both states are in charge of enforcing the laws. Legislators are in charge of making the laws. So what do you think? Should farm truck drivers be required to have a commercial driver's license?